Hello, I'm Brett Knowles. This YouTube is a quick review of our presentation on building agile analytics. The simple story is this. A traditional view of analytics says that we need to build a data warehouse. Based on that, we can create some knowledge and based on that knowledge, create some wisdom. In fact, the typical model looks a bit like this. If we try to plot adoption rates against level of sophistication, there's a simple curve down the middle that says, with a low level of sophistication, there's a high adoption rate of things like customer information files and just product profitability. As we move up the curve, we begin to see more sophisticated customer-facing analytics. And in truth, only about 5% of organizations get to the true wisdom level. Now that survey was within expectations and shows a nice linear progression of how we should be building analytics. But the data point that confused us is this. Part of the survey revealed that about 30% of our client base actually have customer value oriented strategies and analytics in place. Well that's completely off the curve and shows that the development doesn't actually form this linear progression. In fact our analysis began to show that the relationship that we hypothesized is wrong. Wisdom isn't at the end of this value stream, it's at the beginning. That somehow or the other we help organizations or organizations rather need to understand their customer value strategies and from there form analytics to validate their strategy. So if your strategy is say about uh, market penetration, I should be able to begin testing that against issues of profitability, uh, top-down, bottom-up, and long-term analytics based on that hypothesis. What that allows us to do is to continually cross-check the analysis and validate and improve it as we go along. So what ends up happening is this testing process kind of repeats the wisdom cycle again and again and again. This is how analytics actually get formed in organizations. So we no longer need to be bound in this room by the belief that we have to build the bottom bricks of the pyramid before we get to the top. In fact, quite the opposite. We're going to start at the top of the pyramid and build down and then back up. What does that look like? Well, we use the example of Southwest Airlines as a great case example of how getting a clear hypothesis about strategy helps you execute. Now, a lot of books have been written on the Southwest story and the work that we've done. The simple story is this. They've understood what their value equation is and clearly differentiate themselves in every aspect of value and satisfaction in the markets that they compete. To do this, they've been very clear about their strategy. And we'll do it as a quick strategy map. Overall, their value equation is about having more customers on fewer planes. And their hypothesis, if we achieve those two objectives, will increase profitability. Well, what do their customers want? Well, there's a target group of customers that want on-time flights and lower ticket price. And their belief is, to make all that happen, if we could have faster turnaround time, it means that we can have the planes in the air with greater capacity utilization, therefore run with fewer planes, therefore I can reduce my ticket price, and it means I can even get the planes back in the air on time more frequently than our competition. And how do we do that? Well, we educate and compensate people for process redesign. The net is, this is a simple description of strategy that hypothesizes what success looks like. In fact, we can take it a step further and communicate to the organization how important these organizations are this year to our success. So this is that hypothesis we saw on the far left of that previous chart. In fact, on the analytics side, we can build this into a simple scorecard by putting performance metrics next to each one of these objectives. Now, what's fun about this hypothesis is now I can just test it. I can do whatever marketing activities I might want. And, you know, I'll grant you, Southwest does some pretty interesting marketing campaigns to uh, encourage their products in the marketplace. But they don't have to try to predict their success. All we have to do is execute those strategies, whether they're traditional marketing campaigns or some of the more innovative things that Southwest does that, uh, in fact, I don't think anyone else in the industry gets quite as carried away as they do. And then listen. Understand what the reaction are to the different campaigns. Closely understand what the campaign is and track the results across many different footprints. Now, they've done the traditional analytics that we've all done. And the net is they begin listening and being more agile and responding to what the data is telling them and how it is they need to respond to the marketplace. So the simple summary is this. What we need to do is understand how organizations really create wisdom. And that's by forming hypotheses and then testing them. We need a simple mechanism to form that hypothesis, what does success look like, that the whole organization can understand and gravitate to. And then finally, listen. 
listen to what's actually happening and test and validate and refine the wisdom formed in your initial hypothesis. So that's the overview of what's going on. Now there's a bunch more detail behind it. To learn more about these concepts, please join us at www.pm2consulting.com.